Hey, Chef Dice here. Guess what? I'm here at the Picasso restaurant, their fine dining restaurant here at Bellagio Casino and Hotel. I'm excited. Prefix menus. I'm ready. I'm starving. Done playing crabs. Let's check it out. Come on down. Hey guys, we're here at the Picasso outdoor seating. Um, I'm, I'm stoked. We got a beautiful, beautiful sight in here of, of the Bellagio fountains which I believe is going to be up in every 50 minutes. But again, we're excited with the food. I believe they have they have um, course meal, degustation meals. So I'm stoked, I'm ready to go, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. You've been here before. We have a free course dinner here, which you choose one from each category. So it's the first appetizer, second appetizer, your main course. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And if you do this menu, it's more or less pre-selected. You'll have three uh, small appetizers that are selected for you. Lobster first, scallop second, foie gras third, and then your choice of main course. You know what we're going to do? One of each. So you can do that? Yeah. Thanks for everything. Yes. Good. Yes. Thank you. Appreciate you're welcome. It. Take gonna... a couple of minutes. I'll come back when you're ready. I'm, I'm ready. You ready? I'm Perfect. ready. And of course, we're going to get the wine pairings. All right. And then um, to go with both menus. Perfect. Thanks, Riley. Right. Let's start with the lady first. Yes. Oh, no. He'll order first. He's going to order yeah. for okay. you. She's going to get the, the tasting. The tasting, which is already preset. And what does she do? What is her fish or meat for her main course? She'll do the fish. The fish. The okay. sea bass. Sea bass. Done. And how about you, sir? All right. And I'm going to ask you what is. Do you like oysters? Of course. They're splendid. It's my favorite dish on the menu. Done. Do the Do oysters, um, the gnocchi, little potato dumplings with fresh crab. What is nantua sauce? Nantua is like a little tomato, um, uh, like a little tomato, cream tomato sauce. Okay, okay, okay. Like very delicate. Okay. The gnocchi is very popular here. Okay. And since she's doing foie gras here, don't do it over here because you, you'll taste her. Okay. Let's do that. And then we'll do, do you want to do fish or meat for your main course? You know what? Um, let's try to... Fallow deer. Absolutely. <laughs> it's farm New Zealand and it's very tender, it's very mild. Yeah. How would you like that cooked? Mid rare, of course. Medium rare. Yeah. Is, it, is it a lean? lean very, meat? very lean. No yeah. fat whatsoever. Let's go, let's go mid rare. Done. Thanks, Ryland. You're welcome. All right, we got, so basically we got the um, chingo cheese with currant and the green olive bread for starters. I'm, I'm not going to eat that much bread, guys, because you know we got the nice meal coming up. Beat a nice warm slice of bread. God, I'm so excited. Hey, how long have you guys been open? 23 years. Over here? At the Bellagio? Uh huh. Fast 23. That was quick. How long have you been here? Bradley? 23 years. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah. Two more years. A lot, of, a lot of people have been here since the beginning. Two more years, make 25. There you go. Here. We got some amuse bouche coming out. A little a bite of food just to enhance your palate. But again, as you can see, uh, we we ordered two two separate uh, menu courses and then um, and with the wines, paired wine. So we're ready to go. Excited. Oh. Who's Bush? Yeah. compliments of Chef Serrano. Mahalo? What, what, what do we got here? Pheasant croquette with Parmesan and hot potato leek soup with toasted almonds. Welcome. Thank you very My much. Pleasure. Wow. Okay. Unreal. Let's try it. Nice and crispy. Croquette. 
battered, crispy. Like, like it's cheesy inside. It's nice and soft and crispy. Mm. Let's try a potato. It's warm. Sliced toasted almonds in there. Very nice, nice subtle flavor, nothing overpowering. It's kind of maybe 70s right now. It's nice and chilly. This just warms you up. It's a great starter. Um, that then quick quick goes really well. Oh, man, I can't wait for the rest of the meal. The first course is the lobster salad, for a pairing with German reason. 2020 Robert Vile tradition. Miranda, which is a Dijon citrus vinaigrette. Big grapefruit right in this wine, which mirrors that in the salad. It works perfectly with the chilled lobster. It's got great acidity, great minerality, just a touch off dry because it's very well balanced within its elements and with the oysters we are going to yes. Sauvignon yes. from the Loire. This is 2019 de la Ducette Fumé. So this is uh, basically in the dead center of France, directly across the Loire from Saint-Serre. 100% Sauvignon, no oak, great acidity, great minerality as well. This one's a little drier. And the herbal notes work beautifully with our wine choices and that little bit of caviar. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oysters, nice warm sauce, caviar, unbelievable. I'm eating my oysters with the fountain going off pretty soon, so let's go. Uh oh! <laughs> this is awesome. Cheers! Can beat this. Ah, awesome. wow. Lobster, microgreens, some type of aioli. Of course, some caviar in here. Let's try this. taste the lobster everything just complements it and again this is wonderful I'm gonna try it with um, Samantha's wine perfect pairing they have great sommeliers here and again you know what I'm gonna enjoy this and wait for it for the next course Perfect Perry. Excellent. Thank you so much. You must love your job. Man. It's like you got this this view the, every day. The view, the view is great. The wines we have are available to us are and that's very, very lucky. I'm sure that's your control too. So you have the scalp coming for your next course in Burgundy. This is 2019 Burgundy Aligoté from Georges Lignet Fils. So this is a very lean wine with a rich dish. Aligoté is sort of the other white grape of Burgundy. It's got some great sort of uh, green and yellow apple. The citrus is lemon, lemon custard. It's got a little almond tone. You can taste these limestone soils it's grown in. And the dish is very rich. It's the scalp of the Villageau potato mousseline. That's sort of the knife to go through that. You have the gnocchi coming. Going to Galifa, Spain, to Rias Baixas. 2020 Margadillo Albarino. So that's the grape. This is an aromatic grape. It's not stainless. You see it's got stainless, some, yeah. some peach. Orange blossom, some Meyer lemon, sweet citrus. This is a classic seafood wine in this part of Spain, which is north of Portugal, right on the Atlantic. And it works really, really nicely with the crabs. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. No, thank you. Mm. It just has a hot saucer, uh, pan seared scallop with jus de veau, sort of pan seared gnocchi with a sauce and nantois. Nantois. Thank you. 
Thank you. Pleasure. Awesome, Antoine. Let's see, man. Um, gnocchi is like a, basically like a the dumpling, Italian dumpling. Um, it's very simple to make, but when these guys basically look, look, they have dimples in it. But again, this again a base uh, nantois like a, like, a, like a light tomato sauce. But again, lobster, tomato. Let's try it. Let's try it, guys. The gnocchi is like like pillows, light, fluffy. Not even though it looks like there's a cream or whatever, it's not even heavy. It's very light and then um, delicate. Let's try with the wine. This wine goes really great with seafood. And again, the dish is perfectly made here at Picasso at the Bellagio Hotel. All right, hand seared scallop. Heavy sear, looks like it's looks like it's mid rare, perfectly cooked. Guaranteed, it's gonna be nice and moist. Served with a nice pureed potato, nice and clean. Let's see this. Brunoise tomato as a garnish, scallops, and then obviously, as you guys can see, it's perfectly cooked mid rare. Some of this. Let's try it. Melts in your mouth. Seriously. It goes well with the wine. As you saw, Salmonie explained it to us. Of course, a little wafer of potato. Basically, it just adds texture to this dish. But again, a wonderful course meal again i'm going to enjoy this and you'll see the next course coming up so here's where you have a course on your own which is the foie gras Ooh. and we are pairing that with rioja so this is a dry red that's done in some american oak barrels and the flavors of potato, coconut, cedar it's very savory it's very light as well it has a good acidity and work pairings with the setup on the foie, with the foie itself. And as I, was, as I said, I just changed and is now uh, uh, lentil puree with the sherry gastric and cornichon. This was really nice. There's a lot of times those dill flavors really match those in the, in the Oh, thank you. Lentil, lentil gastric, you said? Uh, it's a sherry gastric. And sherry gastric. Lentil, okay. yeah. yeah. We have a fancy foie gras for you, madame, with the French lentils. I'm a stickler for foie gras. As you guys can see, this is a nice fatty, a three ounce portion of foie gras. There's toasted almonds, some microgreens, scored, pan seared heavy. All this yellow oil right here is rendered foie gras, lentil puree. And then, all right, and of course we got the red wine, so let's try this out. Perfectly cooked, crispy on the outside, moist on the inside. All right, here we go, guys. Buttery, crisp on the outside, perfectly cooked. The lentil, lentils and the lentil puree gives it an earthy feel. The rendered foie gras, the almonds gives it a nice crunch. The microgreens on top gives it some acidity. But again, let's try with the wine. Talking about the red wine, it cuts into the fatty of this foie gras. It's perfect. And again, as you can see, we got the fountains ready to go again. And while the fountain is going, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. Support 
Bordeaux, actually they're both Bordeaux, white Bordeaux, 2017 Chateau Cast, Bordeaux Blanc, Sauvignon, and stainless. Great acidity, great minerality, great citrus, good to see bass itself, and of course the herbal notes are the classic for asparagus on the dish. Beer, uh, beer. Red Bordeaux, 2018 Chateau Chardonnay. Cru Bourgeois Exceptional on the dark. So it's a Cabernet dominant blend with a good amount of Merlot and a good amount of Cabernet Franc. Just a touch of the tea Verdot. Uh, 18 is a great thing in Bordeaux and pretty much everywhere else in the world. Thank you. Oh my god. Dan seared at Chilean sea bass with Hollandaise and a real shoe. Dan seared at Venison. With a Zinfandel reduction, the gentleman here has some silverware for you. One of the Thank you. Thank you. One thing, one thing about fine dining, plates are piping hot. Keep the food nice and hot. I'm stoked. Deer. I haven't had deer for maybe 15, 20 years when I was at Emeralds in New Orleans. But again, this three, three, four ounce per deer looks like it's about mid rare. Parsley puree, baby carrots, roasted cut radicule, reduction. And one thing about deer, guys, is it's a lean piece of meat. So order it mid rare. No, no, no more than that. No medium, no nothing. As you can see, it's from mid rare, perfectly cooked. Let's get some some parsley puree, some of the radicchio. We sit on here. Cute baby carrots. Look at the baby carrots. So cute. Okay, some reduction. Let's try. It. Bon appetit. It's not gamey at all. Mid rare, nice and moist and tender. Cheers. Cuts to the heaviness of the reduction and the puree. But again, a tasting menu. Portions you may see might be small. When you eat everything together, it's perfect. You'll get over maybe a pound worth of protein. But again, perfect. Enjoy the sights and sounds. What they told me is like, we, like we came here at 5.30. Every half an hour, the fountain, the fountain show goes on. But once seven o'clock hits, every 15 minutes, the fountain show goes on. So again, we're here for about an hour and a half. It's enjoyable. Let's try the next dish. All right, we got to hear a pan seared bass. Garnish on the top, some texture. Poached asparagus with some hollandaise, which is a classic French technique. Um, let's try this. White flesh. As you can see, it's seared really well, not overcooked, nice and moist. Highly seasoned, it's unbelievable, tasty, moist. Poached asparagus with the hollandaise. Perfectly cooked, all dante. Reduction. Let's try this. I think this is a crisp leeks, chiffonade crisp leeks. But again, this is a nice tender with some brune wall tomatoes back there. Let's try with the wine. Perfect, and you know, everything's nice and perfectly cooked. Guys, let me finish this dish. After that, we got some desserts. But again, this is a wonderful dish.
right guys we got the souffle it took about about 10 15 minutes to get this souffle but you know what one thing about about that um the picasso at the bellagio every 15 minutes after seven o'clock you got the show so time flies really quick but again let's get this before the souffle deflates okay so we're going to put an x right creme anglaise right in the middle <laughs> Oh my God, look at that. Look at that, it's, it's absorbing everything. Nice and hot, see a steam? See a steam coming up? Yeah. Mm. Light, airy. Chocolate ice cream, There's some chocolate niblets in here. Nice crunch, but again, this is one of the best ways to finish my meal here at the Picasso at the Bellagio. Hot on a chilly night, unbelievable. And of course, we got the Sauternes, sweet wine, goes really well with our desserts. Oh God, everything here is to die for. We got the chocolate bar, some chocolate mousse over here, little chocolate garnishes, um, some banana, topped with a little bit caramelized, we, we topped off with a little bit of sugar and then, then torch to give it a caramelization as you guys can see, like a brulee effect, right? So what we'll do is let's try the bar. So it has like a chocolate shell. Then you put the mousse in here. Mmm. That's it. Caramelized banana. A little banana twill. Resembles a banana. Pretty. But let's get this going. Oh, this is good. I don't know what it is, but I'll put it in the description below. But guys, pretty good. Caramel, banana twill, chocolate mousse, chocolate garnishes. Mm. But again, you know what? We had a beautiful night here at the Picasso at the Bellagio Hotel and Casino. Chef Dice here, my lovely wife Samantha, bringing you awesome content. Please subscribe, like, and hit that notification button. Till we're meeting you guys again, Chef Dice out.